What we run from pursues us. What we face transforms us. Hi. All you beautiful souls, hello, hello, hello. My name's Loretta, and you're at Mother's Tarot. This is a 15-card layout uh, for me. Um, I have given this this layout, uh, shared it a few times uh, within the last few days. So it's been called to my attention that it be, it's time for me. Chatsworth is letting me know. Chatsworth is my esoteric guide. Chatsworth is letting me know that I um, it's time to do one on myself. I have not done this one on me. I have used it for others. So, and I'm going to get the up here. Yeah, it looks at um, an alternative future possible to you. The future as you are creating it, past and present. Karma, tools, allies, advice, challenges, and warnings. And then ultimate outcome, the future that does not change. Uh, there are three cards in each position. The cards are placed in... Um, uh, circular motion, but you know, if you're a reader, you can do this any way you want, you know, whatever feels right to you. But uh, I've had, uh, I have had some really good readings with this, with this spread. So let's see, I'm going to see if I can't get it laid out. One, two, one. Three and then four. Okay. So I've got the chart up, so I'm not really looking at the camera. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. I hope everyone's doing really well. I'm using the, the Tarot 78 Doors. It is my favorite deck um, for me every day. Every day is involved with doors. So, did I put this? Do I got this? See, I'm not, i um, got my screen up. There it is, yeah, yeah. Tarot of 78 doors. Really cool deck. So, I love it, I love it, I love it. For myself, you know. So, anyway, uh, let me see what we got. Yeah. Feels like it's starting to cool off now. We're weather-wise, 20th of August now. Just had the big old blue moon yesterday. Astrology-wise, astro astrologically-wise, it was a really, really big event. Although I've got, I think September... I've got a, um, uh, I've got a thing on it where it's Peg September. I think it was September as the super moon. I, I thought I would show it uh, during the paranormal live. I'm thinking it might come up. So I've got it set to go. Okay, let's see. Are we good? Yeah. Standing in the doorway. The age of Aquarius. I love it. I really, really do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I think we're there. I think Okay, uh, do you like that? All right. What's on the other side? Underside. Oh, mm -hmm. the knave of pentacles is knocking in the unseen realm. Okay. All right. Let me. Uh, okay. I know where I need to go. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them down face first because I don't want to see them. 
until I start turning them all over. Okay, so it goes one, two, three. Am I going to be able to fit these all in? I hope so. And then we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, I'm going to have to move this, I think, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. Okay, let me take a good look here. And then, of course, on the unseen, we've got knocking on the door. This is, uh, let's see what that is. Let me take a look here. Okay, um, can I get this? I know I've got my arm here. Hold on. I'm trying to get it so you can see it really well. We can all see it really well. This is a, a TV tray I'm using. Yeah, you do what you have to do, right? Okay. Okay, I think we've got it. Pretty much. That's pretty much as good as we're going to get. Okay. Let me move back over to the other page so I can see what I'm doing. All right. <clears throat> so these three here. An alternative future possible to you. Me. Because it's my reading. The future as you, me, are creating it. Past and present in the center here. This lower three right here, this is the karma, tools, allies, advice, challenges, and warnings. The lower right, ultimate outcome, the future that does not change. Okay. Blessings, everyone. Okay, let's. Uh, and I always begin up top here. An alternative future possible. That's talking about me. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles. About working on your craft. The lovers. So that's a, a union, an agreement. Whoops. Sorry. Oh. Okay. But then we've got the hermit. See, in this one, um, this one here, visually, I mean, look at that, you know, um, not working well with spirit. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what that means, you know, because I it's like I'm I'm forging my own path, you know, do my own footprint thing. I mean, yes, but still, you know, it's like I, I don't do well when it goes along with the program, just you know, conforming. Um, I've always, yeah, conforming. Okay, so the future as I am creating it. Let's see how I'm doing here. The Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. Ugh. The Five of Chalices, Five of Cups. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> okay. And what will I do with this information? Well, I will make some adjustments is what I'm going to do with this information. I mean, what else can you do with it, right? I mean, I don't I, I don't want to be do this or this one. You know? Uh, no. So, okay. 
So here we are at the past and present. We got the King of Chalices. Knave of Swords. This is a sneaky little card, or, you know, because you're being watched. You're being watched. I'm being watched. And the Hangman. Introspection. Yeah, well, that's where we're at right now. Introspection. What the Hangman is at. Okay. So now we're going to look over here at my karma, tools, allies, advice, challenges, and warnings. Oh, my. What do we got? We got the King of Wands. We got the Chariot. Rock on. <laughs> Rock and roll. Yeah, here we go. Chariot moving forward. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Those are all pretty pleasant. Okay. The ultimate that does not change. What am I going to see? God, the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. So, there's always going to be this feeling caged. Yeah, the door is open, but there's still the cage. Four of Swords, that's about resting. Uh, Battle weary in the in the uh, rider weight, but you see in here, this is a blind person making their way through life with the cane, just feeling their way. And the Nine of Pentacles in possession of the keys that opens the door to enter a new kingdom, a new home, a new home here. And it looks like there's, there's a partnership involved, an advocate. That's what I'm picking up on there. Because the unseen energy is the knave of pentacles, followed by the queen of pentacles, followed by the ace of pentacles, by the eight of wands, king of pentacles. It's all good in the unseen world. Okay. Now let me, I'm going to read through the book. Okay. Okay, because if we look at an alternative future possible. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. And I'm just going to read through what the card, what the cards have a booklet. So I'm going to take out of that. So the Nine of Pentacles, or the Eight of Pentacles is what we have. The Eight of Pentacles. Aptitude for committing to continuous painstaking work. And then followed by that is a tendency to conform to the rules of the herd. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that tendency though. That could be the reverse meaning of that. Yeah, it is a reverse meaning. It would have to be. Okay. And then we have the lovers, which is, you know, Major Arcana. 
It is choosing the right door in matters of love could prove more difficult than expected. Hmm. Interesting. And then the hermit. Closing a door at times only means waiting for a better opportunity or opening another inside of ourselves. The hermit marks a period of introspection where solitude does not mean isolation. Yeah, that very well could be. An alternative future possible. Okay. So that's alternative future possible. Let me look at this again. Eight of Pentacles. Let me see this again. Aptitude for commit. Aptitude for committing to continuous painstaking work. Tendency to conform to the rules of the herd. That's part of that. See, there is rules to the herd. And even in the world of woo-woo, where we're reading cards, we're reading energy, we're reading yada, yada, yada. Okay, there's conformity to this world also. This is an alternative future possible. And the lovers means choosing the right door in matters of love could prove more difficult than expected. Perhaps small impediments or a love triangle so again I, I don't got anything on that on their, on their horizon but there are partnerships you know like the lives that I'm I'm doing participating in now those are just getting to getting rolling really so that I think is what represents that there I think that's what they're talking about there the spirit and then with the hermit, closing a door at times only means waiting for a better opportunity or opening another inside of ourselves. The hermit marks a period of introspection where solitude does not mean isolation. Yeah. An alternative future possible to you. Then we look at the ultimate outcome, the future that does not change. So what does that mean? Let's just look at this. Okay. So we go, we would go from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. From the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. Let's take a look at that comparison. Solitude that leads to pessimism, tiredness, suffering, and inertia. Wow. Pessimism, tiredness, suffering, and inertia. Ultimate outcome, the future that does not change. Then, in the same position as the lovers. Okay. The four swords. Inner concentration that could be mistaken for indifference or emotional aridity. Wow. Hmm. And then 
the Nine of Pentacles, where the Hermit is. The Nine of Pentacles. Tranquility obtained from wealth. Creativity accompanied by a certain amount of prudence. Wow. So it sounds like in the finality of it all, it's all going to work out, isn't it? For the better. Sounds like I'm not going to be homeless. Seriously. That's what it sounds like. In the ultimate outcome, the future that does not change, and that uh, Nine of Pentacles, there'll be wealth obtained, a creativity accompanied by a certain amount of prudence. Okay. See, it was uh, revealed to me that I'm some kind of rare medium, rare medium type. Have I figured that out? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but it feels like it plays in. It feels like it plays into this. So the future is I am creating it. Because, man, this. Front door's on fire and you're up here on the top floor. So let's take a look at this. What have we got to see here? The future is you're creating it. All right. So the nine of chalices. Recognition of merits and consequent well-being, opulence, and realized desires. Okay, so those two kind of fit together. Ace of Wands. All right, let's see what we got here. Ace of Wands. The Wands open the doors of physical action in everyday life, work, career, projects. The creative power of will, inspiration that strengthens the foundations for achieving future goals. Well, that's the magic. I mean, this this reminds me of the, the commercial or the little, you know, whoever it is, they get their face up against the glass and their, their little hands are going, open, open, open. That's what this reminds me of. Open, open, open. <laughs> so I like that. I like that. But let's see what we got here, man. The future is you're creating it. This baby right here. Okay, we got the five of cups. There's five of chalices. Pain over something lost. Regret. Stop looking at the past and open up to future opportunities. Okay. Just slap me jaws down, man. Oh, you got it. Stop looking at the past. Yeah. Did I tell you I just got an Akashic reading? Yep, I sure did. I think that's where this comes in. And a, about a year ago, I got a past life reading, you know. So, and... uh this next month, I've got an astrologist. I'm, I'm getting my first astrology, paid astrology reading. So so that's all right. So I get it. I get it. Okay. This is the past and present right here. And over here are our tools 
allies, karma, advice, challenges, and warning. Okay, I'll save that for last. Past and present. See, this always reminds me. You know, somebody's looking. Somebody's watching you. You're being watched. Or maybe that's me, or whatever I'm reading for, watching something else. Keeping an eye on something else. Knave of Swords. Okay, let's see what we got. Knave of Swords. Okay, so the knave is like the page, okay? And uh, so they're the messengers, the talkers. Oh, I got here. An intelligent and discreet observer that can also be clever and vindictive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That. That's me. Yeah. King of chalices. See, it looks like he's in his little cave lifting a glass of uh, spirits, you know, celebration or water even. Means it's a watery beam. And I'm a water. I'm a Scorpio. So... Very much. King of chalices. Intelligent man with a strong tendency to control and a vision of reality at times too narrow and indifferent. Oh, it's so true. Oh. So, yeah, that's very much me. And then the hangman. What's it saying about the hangman? The hanged man. Here we go. You might feel that you can't find the right key to get out of a situation. The moment has not yet arrived. Take time to reflect on the past. Confident that the door in time will open. Absolutely. Yep. That is where I'm at. Because like I said... I've been doing, I did the past life reading. I've got the Akashic now. I'm going to do an astrology one. So all of this is uh, pulling in bits and pieces. They're like puzzle pieces for me, you know, and my spirit, my psyche, whatever. I don't know what it's going to tell me. I really don't. But I know. I know they're puzzle pieces. Okay, so now let's look over here. At my karma, tools, allies, advice, and challenges. How am I doing on time? Because I'm looking over here. Um, let's see, where are we at? 28 minutes. Okay, we're not doing bad. So, let me just this again. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, let me look back over here. All right, karma, tools, allies, advice, and challenges. Okay, let's move these over here a little bit better to see. Because here, you know, it's all got to do with the past and the present, right? So we'll just lay it over here. All right. King of Wands. The King of Wands. Let me go up to the book. A man of power with an iron will, a time at times excessively severe. E yeah. But also it comes in handy sometimes. And I know that's part of what I pull from when I need it. Sometimes we need it to pick ourselves up and keep moving. One step at a time, one breath at a time. The chariot. These are my tools. Thanks to will and 
constancy, the doors of success are being thrown open and all you have to do is enter and reap the rewards. Keep believing in yourself and don't refuse to don't refuse to help those who are less fortunate. Absolutely. Rock on. Rock on. And then we've got the seven of pentacles. The constant commitment to realizing personal goals cause impatience and desire. Okay, what's this say again? Seven of Pentacles. The constant commitment to realizing personal goals causes impatience and desire. Well, yeah, because you just want it. But yeah, it feels good. See, she's good. There's a dove being released, happiness, family out in the field, or, you know, her people, whatever. I like this. Okay. And this is the the ultimate outcome, the future that does not change. Is that what I got here? Or is it... No, these were my tools, Loretta. These were the tools on the past and the present. Okay, this was an alternative future possible. The future as I'm creating it and the ultimate outcome. We got that past and present and the tools. Karma. Allies, advice, challenges, and warnings. All right. Okay, I think I'm good. I mean, uh, I'll tap down that. <laughs> but it's all going according to plan. My goodness. So anyway, this is a 15, call, 15 card read. This is... Uh, I don't know what the name of it is other than 15 card. And the unseen energy, the bottom of the deck for this reading was the Knave of Pentacles. So let's not forget that. And the Knave, of course, is the messenger, able and thoughtful person, a scholar or an expert in communication. And right now, you know who this person is for me? Allie at Heart and Soul Connected. She has just been a blessing. Such a blessing. So, anyway, that's my reading for me on the 17 cards. So, you know, if anyone else, you know, if you'd like to check it out or whatever, let, let me know what you think about it. This is just me. So, um, you know, maybe you want to do this for yourself. If you pick up cards, I, I don't have that many card readers as, as subscribers. So um, anyone who's not that's watching, I thank you for taking an interest. Because um, this is just here. Hang on just a second. There you go. Oh. There's my other mouse anyway. Uh, thank you for checking this out. And uh, like I said, I just felt compelled to do the 15 card read. And I didn't know if I was going to be sharing it with you or not on the channel. It kind of feels like I am. And that's okay. I do, do, I do things differently. And um, let's see. This is... Oh, this is Tuesday, uh, the 20th. I've got a short one coming out tomorrow. My notebook one, just a few minutes. And then we've got a live on Thursday. So maybe I'll release this on Friday. I'll set it for release on Friday. 
the 23rd. I think I will talk to you. All right. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I hope you're still here with me. And those who are, mwah! Thank you. All right. And you take real good care of yourself, okay? Do the hand mantras. Look at the, and It gives you, prana is the energy, the life force energy that runs through all life forms on the planet. Our fingers are the circuit breakers, the electrical circuit breakers. So if you can do this, just see when you're sitting there watching TV or you know, mindlessly doing something. Just let the energy flow through your body. Okay? It's going to help lift you up. It'll bring clarity. Yes, it will. It'll bring clarity. It'll bring mindfulness. Uh, it'll re-energize you. You know? It's not like flipping on a light switch. You got to kind of practice. Yeah? Incorporate it every day. Just do it. Whenever it pops into your mind, up for however long, you feel better. I feel better doing it. So I believe you'll feel better too. All right? All right. I love y'all. Remember, love yourself, love the others, be the light because you are the light. All right? Take real good care of yourselves, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for being here.